Honorable Chief Guest, Education Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Dr. Dipumuni MP, Honorable Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Ms. Tamara Hassan Abed, Honorable Act Acting Vice Chancellor, Convocation Speaker, Omar Ishraq, esteemed faculty members, guests, and fellow graduates. Good afternoon, and congratulations to the class of 2023. We all stand here to celebrate a memorable milestone in our academic journey, and I would like everyone to give the graduates a big round of applause. This is the second time that I'm attending this convocation, the first time as a bachelor's degree graduate, and now as a master's degree graduate. But this convocation is even more special to me, as this time, I'm getting this stage to share my story with you all. You may call this a stroke of luck, but I feel extremely fortunate and honored to be given the opportunity to stand before you all on this day. First, I would like to thank the Almighty for making this possible, my parents for their constant support, my teachers for keeping their faith in me, and my friends for being a part of my journey. I would also like to thank the Department of Computer Science and Engineering and my students for always motivating me to give my best. So in many ways, Brachio feels like home to me. I have spent many hours in this place as an undergraduate student, and this time even more extended while pursuing my post-graduation. I never imagined my journey here would be ongoing till this day. But life has its own way of surprising you. It doesn't feel too long ago when I had just graduated from college and joined this university. Like many others, I wanted to study CEC, which became possible when I got into Bragg. I have some fond memories that I created here, but particularly the social learning lab experience from the residential semester stands out. Believe it or not, the roles assigned at SLL do teach you something. In my case, I was assigned as the chief cook for the day. And to some extent, this experience did help me to shape my managerial, my managerial skill that I still require to this day. Like this, Brack University has given me many other good things which I am grateful. But no good story is complete without facing tough times. 2022, in particular, was one of the most challenging years of my life. Under constant pressure from work, studies, and personal issues, I spent many sleepless nights. At one point, I even thought, what am I really doing? Am I making the right choices? You might think I'm being a pessimist, but the reason why I'm talking about this is because I want you to know that it is okay. It is okay to raise questions. It is okay to be a little lost sometimes, because days like these are necessary. These are the days when you understand yourself a little better, and you realize what you need to change about yourself and your life. That is why, despite the bad times, I would not wish to take any of it back. I want to share a few important things that I have learned from my experience in my short life. The first one is that it is easy to compare yourself with others. Somebody at your age might, not, might be in a better position than you. Somebody might not even start at their career. If you if you keep thinking what you could have been or what you could be, you will always be running against standards that might not comply with you as an individual. Comparisons are endless, but remember, your only competition is yourself. The sooner you realize this, you feel more at peace with yourself and the people you are around with. I would like to I would also like to add, no matter how many goals and achievements you have accomplished in your life, there will be more goals to pursue. So do not limit your goal by any level, any award, or any gratification. Keep working on your own growth 
your personal goals and build healthy relationship with the people around you. But never forget those who supported you, loved you and believed in you. Dear fellow graduates, as I leave, I encourage you to work so hard that you are known through your work. However, no matter what you are doing, spare time for important relationships in life, for family and friends, for those whom you love, and for those who love you. May Allah help us all. Thank you.